And so, the folks at Epic Games have just announced Twinmotion 2023.2. This is after a long time of beta testing and early access to Twinmotion 2023.2 and this release brings about a couple of cool improvements and features to Twinmotion. First off, Lumen for dynamic lighting and reflection is now available in Twinmotion, making it very easy for anyone to get high quality renderings directly on their viewport before final rendering. This is definitely going to change how lots of people would work with Twinmotion and in terms of visualization, this just brings about a lot of cool improvements that everyone can work with. Introduced in Unreal Engine 5.0 and now available in Twinmotion 2023.2, Lumen now makes indirect lighting to adapt on the fly to changes to direct lighting and geometry. And this in itself is quite interesting as it brings about high quality rendering for both videos and still images. Next up is animation. Animation is now available in Twinmotion. So this has been a long, long awaited stuff and now you can import FBX, GLTF and GLB files directly into Twinmotion. You can definitely go over to Sketchfab and drag them in or you can create your own bespoke believable characters and bring them into Twinmotion. The beautiful thing about this is you can also choose how you want your characters to be animated. You can play with any of the playback modes that exist and you can also choose to import them and play with hierarchy. Speaking of hierarchy, if you choose to import these animations via the Sketchfab plugin that exists for Twinmotion, you'll not be able to have access to either hierarchy or the animations themselves. As the current Sketchfab plugin only supports static meshes, if you're thinking about importing your animated content via Sketchfab, then you might have to go over to Sketchfab web, download it and bring them right into Twinmotion. Additionally, Sketchfab now has an update and this is more for static meshes. If you're importing your meshes from Sketchfab, at this point you can choose if you like these meshes to be either hierarchy based or as one piece. So you can do all of that from the preference settings and for those who are thinking about playing with bits and pieces of assets, with Twinmotion 2023.2 right now you can bring in these assets from Sketchfab with hierarchy and you can play with these bits and pieces however you choose. Another interesting update that is now here is Adobe Substance Material Import. So you can now bring in your substance materials directly into Twinmotion, apply them on surfaces and tweak them to your heart content. So if you do have substance materials that you like to get, especially from platforms like Substance Store or maybe they are ones that you've downloaded or you do create them yourself, you can bring them into Twinmotion and use them to accentuate your designs and get the best quality out of them. Speaking about quality, if you're into scene designs or maybe landscaping, then you might want to take advantage of the paint and scatter tool that is available in Twinmotion. The painting tool has been updated for both foliage and other assets so you can simply go in and drag as many files that you want and assets from either Sketchfab or Quixel or your personal design ones and start scattering them within your scene. Additionally, you can go back into the painting tool and make adjustments to specific assets. And speaking about adjustments, when you're trying to capture your scenes, you might want to get a pinned camera. It's quite interesting to see that camera pinning is now available in this new version of Twinmotion. You can pin the camera on the same monitor or you can transfer this to another monitor altogether. This can be classified as a quality of life improvement, especially for those who like to see what your final rendering looks like while they make adjustments to the overall scene. There are also some very cool improvements that include local exposure and some enhancement that includes the path tracer transparency for water materials. There's also the improved water particles for more realistic scenes. And at this point, you can now do way more with Twin Motion. So, for those who are thinking about checking this out, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can read up on all of the cool features and updates that are now available in Twin Motion 2023.2. More so, if you want to check out some of the things that you can also find, you can go over to the roadmap section and check on with the release and see some of the release tools that are now available right here. There are more stuff to come, so if you go over to the in progress, you'll find out that smart grass is going to be coming, placement tool is also going to be coming, which is looking super cool. There's also the film back option that will be coming. And for those who struggle with camera animation, the camera animation rig is also slated to be coming to Twin Motion, and there are a lot more features that are slated to come over to Twin Motion 2023.3 or probably Twin Motion 2024. So this is it. Twin Motion is now here. Super amazing. Go ahead, download it, start playing with it. It's extremely one of the best visualization tools for architectural visualizers, product visualizers, or if you're just looking for a place to do some very cool rendering. If you'd like to see walkthroughs about some of the features that we've talked about, I'm going to link that in the description and you can check that with previous videos that I've made and you'll definitely find them very informative. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and until I see you guys in the next one, peace.